guys, today we're going to take a look at this Glam Glow gift set. This is the Ultimate Anti-Aging Set, which is an exclusive limited edition from Sephora. It's a four-piece gift set, and it's supposed to be good for clear, glowing, youthful-looking skin. It contains four items. A dual-ended applicator brush, which you can see here. One for getting product out and the other brush for applying your masks. This Youth Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser, which has the worst pump I have like ever suffered before. Oh my god, it sucks so hard. A half an ounce of the Super Mud Clearing Treatment, which is sealed. And under the seal, you'll just find this mud. And finally, a full set, a 1.7 ounce bottle of the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment, which is again a mud. And finally, some instructions. So to start with, we get one ounce of this Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. If you can manage to get some pumped out onto your hand, basically you apply it to a dry face with dry hands. And then you add some water to your hands and kind of build it up into a foam. It's supposed to be really good for fine lines and wrinkles, dullness and uneven texture, and a loss of firmness and elasticity. So the main thing here is exfoliating and cleansing your skin. Personally, I think the pump sucks, and I know you're supposed to use it dry, but I do prefer wetting my face first and then applying it kind of as a foam already. Otherwise, it kind of drags on your skin, and I feel like you end up using more product. It's not super exfoliating feeling, which is good because it is daily and it is a really nice foaming cleanser. I'm going to be using this twice a day until I've used it up. Probably not going to repurchase though because for a full 5 ounce bottle, it's 43 Canadian dollars, which just seems kind of excessive to me. But there you go. Nice, clean, refreshed skin. Next product is a half an ounce bottle of the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is a mask either a full mask or a spot treatment in this demo i'm going to be using it as a full mask it's good for normal oily and combo skin and it's an advanced treatment to target prevent and heal problematic skin and they define problematic skin as things like breakouts discoloration black and white heads razor bumps ingrown hair for men and women. So you're supposed to apply a very thin layer to the skin. And with this brush, it's actually really easy to get a thin layer on. When I first put it on my cheek here, I applied a little bit too much, but the rest of my face, I did a little bit better at applying a thin layer. You leave it on for five, 10, 15, or 20 minutes. Then you basically just remove it with water. You can use it as often as needed. And like I said, you can use it as a full mask like I'm doing here, or just a spot treatment. Throughout the next little while, I'm just going to be using it as a spot treatment, especially on my chin and nose, I guess kind of my T-zone where I get a little bit more oily, kind of tingly and cold on application, and it does feel very tightening as it dries. It's nice that you apply just a tiny thin layer because it is quite expensive. This guy, the full bottle is 1.2 ounces, and that retails for $80, which is, wow, so expensive. The brush is excellent for applying the product, but I don't really like the other side, the scooping tip. I think that one just kind of gets your hands dirty and it's kind of unnecessary. You can see on my forehead, it's already starting to dry and it turns from a darker color to kind of a light gray. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. You can see there's some spots that don't seem to be getting lighter at all. Those are actually eucalyptus leaves embedded in the mask. So when it's dry, it's incredibly hard, incredibly tight feeling. It's very hard to smile or talk, but it doesn't cra crack in that really creepy way, which is nice. Sometimes masks give you a really creepy crack and you can see kind of all your lines, but this one, it doesn't, it, um, it doesn't seem to crack at all. So after you wash it off, your skin does feel dry in a degreased kind of way and a little bit tingly as well. And it wiped off incredibly easy. Just the tiniest bit of water and with a face cloth, it just comes off super nice. 
A lot of times when you use a clay mask, you have to struggle to get it off. Not so with this guy. Very easy. The last product we're going to try out is the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. And I'm trying out the other end of the brush, which I found just kind of sucks and gets your hands dirty. I, I would just use the brush. This one, again, you apply a thin layer to a clean face. And then you can expect a tightening effect in 10 minutes or less. You then remove the mask with water in a circular motion to exfoliate. And you can use twice a week or as often as desired. This one has got little flecks of green tea leaf. And you can see this mask goes on a lot clearer than the other one, which is more muddy looking. This one goes on clear. And then as it dries, it kind of turns into a more gray, muddy looking color. It's very gritty feeling when you're put, applying it to your face and it dries incredibly fast definitely within the first five minutes of the however long you leave it on it again dries very hard and feels very tight and dry this one retails for $80 for 1.7 ounces and the kit does come with the full size this four-piece kit I bought for 76 Canadian dollars and the Supposed like full value is $143. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and I'm actually gonna speed this footage up so you can see it dry. It dries so incredibly fast, you guys. It's actually kind of neat to watch it turn. This one again is very easy to take off. You just take a little bit of water on like a face cloth and basically just wipe it away. No struggle getting it off. It's actually very convenient. After you wash it off, your skin will feel very tight and dry. And it does recommend you use an SPF. So I'm just moisturizing with my Cetaphil moisturizer that does have an SPF in it. And there we go. That is my skin after both masks and the cleanser. Hey guys, so it's been maybe an hour or so since I did the masks. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do both masks on the same day. But I did. Afterwards, I wanted to not go crazy. So I applied a little bit of concealer under eyes in my trouble zones but just a pinch and then I powdered all over and yeah my skin feels really nice really moisturized and yeah well it looks good I don't know it's always so hard to tell if like any firmings actually happened or if your pores look smaller I would say probably not but I'm gonna keep using this I'm gonna go twice a week on the one I'm gonna use the cleanser up and the little mask, I'll just use it till it runs out. So I will do like a more complete final thoughts video when I get to the end of the product. So thanks so much for watching. And of course, I will catch you all later. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this or my concluding thoughts, please subscribe. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye.